welcome to the Black Light Project. Come on and step into our black light. And we gon' shine our lights bright. Our black lights. Black light project. Hey y'all, so today we get the opportunity of meeting with and learning about one of the other features of the Black Light Project, a man that I've known for quite a while now, the OG Bobby Clark. <laughs> OG, triple OG, hey, Bobby how, Clark. Hey, how you doing? How you I'm doing? good, man, how you been? Doing, doing fine. Bro. Okay, okay, that's good to hear. And so like, the la when we first met, we actually first met, what was it like, 20, 14, 2015 or something like that? Yeah, yeah, Matt, you were working at the hospital and uh, being on scribe with the doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, my auntie was about that. I was a uh, behavior health specialist. I was doing site work mm -hmm. and uh, we just had conversations. And, and one thing, and you surprised me one day, you said, I'm thinking about pledging Alpha Phi Alpha. Mm -hmm. I said, great, <laughs> young man, <laughs> great. And uh, it turned out you did become an alpha man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not only do I know you because you're just infamous and so great in the area and stuff <laughs> like that, we're actually brothers um, and members of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. So um, I guess I'll start there. What does being a member of that fraternity mean to you in regards to like the legacy that we as black men are leaving in society? I think we think about like Dr. Martin Luther King, Thurgood Marshall, and just the, the legacy of doing community service work. Uh, black men always were known for helping. And, and one thing about what Alphas do is help the downtrodden, people who doesn't have, help people vote, help people have money in their pockets, help young people. And we had a um, community project that, that we founded called How Child Higher Education. Mm -hmm. And we help well, young kids, even first graders to seniors, and we help them to stay in school and hopefully they could get better grades and achieve to hopefully go to college one day. If they go to college, go to the military, mm -hmm. get a job. Mm -hmm. So one thing that Alpha is all about is helping, especially young black men, mm -hmm. to achieve. Yeah, and that's like, one of the reasons why I went into teaching for this little time I was teaching these three years um, because of the importance of imparting like wisdom and knowledge and understanding that I've gained from the OGs and the older brothers into these young men and young women, especially of color, um, so that they can go the route towards like positivity and living in light and love and helping other people as well. What would you say specifically your legacy is here in Rocky Mountain? I think one of the things is working with the young black males mm -hmm. and, and uh, always having an opportunity to be a mentor to families too. Okay, sometimes I have the, uh, um, the parents, they know me in the area, they call me because uh, I used to be a, a probation officer also. And what, what they indicated to me was if the child was in trouble, they charged with a crime or something, or have some mental health problems. I, have, I understand I have some resources that I can give to them, um, such as um, uh, contacting attorneys or uh, other resources, mental health, mm -hmm. uh, a psychiatrists or therapists or something that, that effect. So I think the legacy is helping out young people and helping out families overall to achieve with different resources and services in the community. So you're leaving a legacy like one life at a time, like you're touching individual lives, um, which then will like leave a lasting legacy because those one lives that you're touching are gonna touch other people and it like bounces and like goes on for there. What led you, because you mentioned that you were um, a probation officer. So like, how did you transition from working probation to now working in mental health? Well, one thing, I had a lot of uh, black males. I had more black males uh, of any sector than, than uh, black women or white males or white women. And what, what led me into that, most of the population I had had mental health problems. Mm -hmm. And what I worked with is 
uh, teenagers from the age of about uh, 17 on down to about nine years old. And um, once I retired, I wanted to continue to help working with people. Of course, with the skills that I had, working with individuals, not keep them out, uh, also try to keep them out of psychiatric hospitals, mm -hmm. try to keep them out of jail. The main thing, try to keep them alive. A lot of times when they go to jail, foster homes and the like, they come back worse. Mm -hmm. So the theory and the philosophy now is to keep them in the home, work with the parent and child, so it'd be a harmonious type of situation. It seems to me that family is important to you. Oh yes. So what is family life like for you? And everybody talking about a black man not being there, mm -hmm. black man not doing this. That's, that's a bad misconception that the nation has. Mm -hmm. um, I'm there and I know many, many uh, men are head of families. So, so for, for his family, I think that's, that's, that's a good thing to have as a person there assisting and helping in any way they can for their, for their particular family. I'd say, what is your fondest memory um, that you have of either being married or mm -hmm. just being a father of three kids? Like, if you could look back mm -hmm. on your life mm -hmm. and could pick out some of the like greatest memories that you yeah. had, um, what would they be? All, all three would be the birth, birth of all three children, mm -hmm. bringing children to the world and, and having goals to help them strive to, to be good, good family people, law-abiding citizens. And, and uh, that, that's, that's what I think uh, my memories of, of, of uh, being a male or being a husband or being a father, those three things. You know, in Roots, when, you, when I saw Roots, when the baby is born, when they hold that baby up, <laughs> that means a lot. That's an old African proverb that used to do a long mm. time ago. But, uh, did you do that with yours? I, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you did like Mufasa on the I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that. But but uh, it, it it brings me to mind that that what's so important, mm -hmm. bringing somebody else into life, mm -hmm. into the world, is very very important. Okay. Okay.